is recognized. Madam Speaker, at this time, I'd like to yield two minutes to the gentleman from California, Mr. Nunes. The gentleman from California is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you to Mr. Kelly for giving me time to speak in support of H.R. 748, the Middle Class Health Benefits Tax Repeal Act. This bill will, make, will provide much needed relief from one of the most burdensome and blunt taxes in Obamacare. By repealing this tax, we will save employers from paying a 40% tax on high-cost employer-sponsored health coverage. The bill will provide much needed relief not only for employers, but for the employees, some of whom are low-income earners with high-cost health benefits, who are forced to bear the repercussions of this tax. That said, I am disappointed that the majority chose not to repeal the medical device tax or the health insurance tax, both of which are harming hardworking Americans across the country. The medical device tax is a 2.3 percent excise tax on the value of medical devices sold domestically. Making life-saving products more expensive is not only good policy, is not good policy, and should be included in this repeal bill. The health insurance tax, or HIT, is a more than $100 billion sales tax on private health insurance that affects every private plan in the country. At a time when we are all trying to lower the cost of health care, why are the Democrats a majority preventing us from removing this unnecessary and burdensome tax? This bill could do so much more, but I am happy that the majority is finally admitting that the Obamacare tax increases are bad for the country and that good tax policy doesn't need to be replaced with more bad tax hikes. At a time when much of our health care system is failing, when health care costs are still unaffordable for many people, when Medicare will be insolvent within a decade, and when Medicaid's uncontrollable costs are bankrupting our states, it still leaves millions of low and middle income earners without access to doctors. We should be working harder to provide more access and choice to the American people in a fiscal and responsible way. With all that said, I support the repeal of this tax and I urge adoption of the bill. I yield back. The gentleman from California yields back. The gentleman from